Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another trailer reaction. So we actually just got the trailer for the new Sims 4 stuff pack that's been announced called Crystal Creations. And I have already watched the trailer. I couldn't record this like immediately as soon as the trailer came out. So I did go ahead and watch it. And if you do follow me over on Twitter, you have seen a couple of my initial like initial thoughts after watching it once so yeah if you don't follow me over on twitter it's always linked in the description but this trailer reaction is going to be a little bit different because a i have already watched it so it's not technically a first reaction and also obviously i'm not doing face cam for this one because i look and feel a little bit like the walking dead so yeah we're not doing face cam today <laughs> But with all of that said, let's go ahead, jump on into this because this has got to be one of my favorite stuff packs that I have seen The Sims do so far and I am ready to freak out about it with you guys. I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to do this in the way we usually do trailers where I like watch it through once with you guys. We're actually going to do it the way that... I do it, I usually do it later on, but we're gonna go through it frame by frame because it's not the first reaction anymore. I have seen it already. You guys have probably already seen it as well. So we're gonna go through this frame by frame. And first off, we start off the trailer in, this is the Forgotten Grotto, I believe, in Oasis Springs. It's one of the secret lots in the base game. But yeah, so there's obviously a lot of new creators some items. We see a couple of new boots in this. We see obviously some new hairstyles that look fantastic. Some new, you know, obviously clothing items. But what has me really excited about this is all of the new jewelry. And this stuff is probably jewelry that hopefully you'll be able to access in Creatism. Hopefully it won't be locked behind gameplay or something. If it is, I'm hoping there's a cheat to unlock it. But yeah, so the pack is called Crystal Creations, obviously. And we do get some new build buy items as well, which is great. I'm obsessed with this bookcase over here. I love it. I also really, really like... Where is it? Let me just... I feel like I need to slow this trailer down because it feels like it's just going by too fast. <laughs> But yeah, so I love the wallpaper, this like cosmic, you know, not really astrology, but like cosmic with the moons and the crystals and little plum bobs and stuff. I love the sofa as well that's over there and the rug is gorgeous. And I love all of the like the kind of like jewelry type clutter and like gemstone clutter that's all over the place. This is obviously a work table, like a workbench where your sims can make jewelry because yes, that is part of the pack. Your sims can now make their own jewelry from crystals and metals that they find around the world. So there's now a proper use for those collectibles. Yeah, obviously some new artwork, more new rugs. I love all of the shelves as well, like the display shelves. I really, really like that. I love that crystal terrarium over there in the corner. And then these are obviously jewelry displays. And where is, yeah, so this geode, like, you know, it's basically in real life that would tell you the different parts of the geode and the crystal and stuff. It's just, I love it so much. So this is the new jewelry design screen or ui i guess you would say so you can select the design which i'm guessing yeah so that you can make different bracelets and earrings and necklaces and i believe yeah bracelets earrings necklaces and i don't know what the other one is i'm assuming it's just a different kind of bracelet but yeah so i love these this one in the bottom especially and from the actual blog post that has gone up, there's apparently like over a thousand different like combinations and pieces that you can make. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, you can choose the design, you can choose the metal. So these are obviously the metals that your sims can collect in the world. So that's part of that collection. And then obviously, you know, you have your crystals that's again, you know, the regular collection that you now can do something with and this first piece that this sim makes doesn't turn out fantastic clearly <laughs> and apparently there's a new gemology i believe it's called a skill 
that your sims can actually learn and as they learn it they'll have new interactions with this like gems and their like skill at making jewelry will also obviously level up now this is really interesting so i don't know how the sim i don't know if they made that or if they like if they cut a gemstone or a crystal and then they found this inside or whatever but it's basically a seed that grows an absolutely gorgeous gem tree or crystal tree and it is so gorgeous but another thing that i noticed is this crystal tower at the back you guys if you didn't know i am super into crystals and like m the moon and crystals and herbs and all of that kind of like witchy pagan stuff so this pack is like me to a t it's like the sims team reached into my head and pulled out like some of my favorite things some of my favorite like aesthetics when it comes to like clothing and accessories and furniture and all of that stuff and just put it in a stock pack so this pack is so up my alley you have no idea and seeing all of the new like crystal shapes like that tower over there the ability to charge crystals in the moonlight which again they mention it in the blog post but that is a whole thing but yeah so basically your sims now have a use for the gems and the crystals that they can get in the world like with the collections and it actually has a function so they all have their own characteristics they all have their own moodlets they all have their own benefits to making and wearing them. So this necklace, for example, is made out of jet. And it says, Sims can summon the Grim Reaper at will, charged on the if, if charged on the crystal grid. So that is basically what I was talking about with the moon cycle. You have a crystal grid where you have to charge your crystals and your jewelry. And that will activate these properties that they have. So yeah, this is the crystal grid. And as you, as you can see, your sim can add, you know, different things to it. They've added, you know, the necklace, a bracelet, some earrings. And orange topaz. Sims gain creative skills faster. So that's really cool. They have, you know, I think they're going to do something with jade now. So yeah, see, there's a lot of like these items, you guys. Like... Can we just pause for a second and take a look at that necklace over there specifically with the black it looks like jade or onyx or obsidian that is the most gorgeous necklace i have seen ever <laughs> in the game and i desperately want it in real life like i kind of want all of these things in real life if i'm being completely honest with you like this ring over here that bracelet like you guys i am obsessed like, if you can't hear it in my voice, I am actually freaking out. I wish I had face cam for this one. But yeah, so Jade, Sims will randomly find crystals around the house. So it's kind of like a lucky crystal. And yeah, there we have the... <laughs> there we have the kind of Dorothy... Not really, yeah, kind of like red... If they're red, they could be red ruby slippers, like from Wizard of Oz. But they, at the moment, they kind of give me Cinderella, Cinderella vibes, like be home before midnight, like pumpkin turning into a carriage vibes. <laughs> but yeah, so this is that crystal tree that I mentioned that actually grows crystals. And this is where your sims can find rare crystals and all of that stuff. And this part, you guys, like being able to propose with a ring that your sims made that is such a big thing a lot of people that you know maybe don't focus on gameplay a lot or don't focus on the finer things in gameplay probably just breezed over this didn't even notice it but we have had the same animation and the same like engagement ring for that animation for the proposed animation in the game since the game came out it's never changed even when we got my wedding stories and they gave us a couple of new like engagement and wedding rings the original one from the animation never changed so being able to propose with a custom ring that your sims made so i'm assuming you know any ring that your sims make can be used for this i'm hoping that is it's amazing like it is actually freaking amazing 
So it says discover dreamy decor. So obviously, you know, all of the bold items. Dazzle in style. So obviously a lot of new creators, some items. Design your sparkle. So, you know, actually making jewelry. And yeah, here's a like a little bit of the sim summoning the grim reaper that is going to be so funny for gameplay like it's going to be great and it's actually out on february 29th so yeah it's out february 29th but with all of that said we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the actual blog post because that has a lot of information that wasn't really evident in the like trailer in the like almost two minute trailer so we're gonna go ahead take a look at the blog post really quickly as well okay so here we are on the blog post i will have all of these things the blog post as well as the original trailer with the original audio and all of that stuff linked in the description as always but it says craft your crystal jewelry with the sims 4 crystal creations stuff pack design design dazzling jewelry that puts you at the center of crafting and creation we cannot get enough of crystals in the sims 4 crystal creations players can unlock a new gemology skill that will have your sim collecting an assortment of colorful crystals and metals to customize stellar creations that can affect sims moods relationships careers and lives so basically crystals have a have a use they have an effect on your sims now which is so great you can display them new beautifully cut crystals around the house use them for crafting stunning pieces of jewelry and charge your crystals in the moonlight to uncover new unique properties from designing beloved treasures like handcrafted engagement rings or custom jewelry to producing unique collectibles that can be sold for simoleons any sim can cultivate their own style that will be seen by all. Get ready to create the jewelry of your dreams in the stuff pack. Collecting and crafting. Nothing is more special than the pieces you handcraft with love. With Crystal Creations, a sim can create over a thousand different permutations of bejeweled items. Choosing to make a fashion statement, declaration of love, or a sparkly gift for a friend. So basically those are the like combinations there's over a thousand different combinations of you know picking a style picking a metal picking a crystal stuff like that which is really really cool so to create these dazzling items sims can develop the gemology skill this skill can be learned through practice as your sim crafts at the new gemology table which is the crafting table we saw in the trailer craft jewelry and cut gemstones in stunning new designs as your sims' skill improves, so will the quality of their creations. At the gemology, gemology table, sims can cut gemstones and make stunning designs with the crystals they collect, fashion them into engagement rings, other jewelry, including bracelets, and necklaces, and earrings. Yeah, rings, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. <laughs> From selecting your favorite crystal variant to choosing a metal, your sims can be a master crafter. You can also use any of the 22 metals found around the Sims 4 world, including Baconite, Death Metal, and Romantium. <laughs> so send a message of love or friendship by selecting the perfect shape of gemstone, including choose from 10 different cuts, including heart, plum bob, or gnome shapes. Gemology skill will be boosted when a sim reads the gemology skill book and when a sim continues to craft creations. A sim can sell, collect and give their crafted creations to other sims. So yeah, this is another really gorgeous picture of that gem tree. And yeah, connect with crystal energy. So this is one of the parts that has me the most excited. Because basically you now have the ability to charge your crystals in the moonlight using the base game lunar cycle so your sims can search out crystals on their computer or pluck them off of a crystal tree so basically you can buy them off the internet or you can find them or you know harvest them from the crystal tree and once the crystal, once the crystal is cut into a gemstone the jewelry and gemstones can be charged with the crystal determining the effect so basically whatever crystal you used once you charge it each crystal has their own effect that they have the objects must be placed on the crystal charging grid once charged sims can wear or display their pieces experiencing the effects of the crystal to positively or negatively 
inf um, impact re relationships, emotions, and in-game progress. Depending on the effect, the charging may wane over time and your sims will need to recharge to feel the full effect once again. So they're also introducing three new crystals, Amber, Jade and Moonstone. So there's currently a total of 27 different crystals across all of the packs. So yeah, you can locate common, uncommon or rare crystals in dig spots and rocks around any world or lot. While uncommon crystals can also be purchased from the computer or at the gemology table. And rare crystals can only be found in different worlds or grown on a crystal tree. So yeah, here they also give you all of the names for the different crystals and what pack they come with. A lot of them are in the base game. Some are in Get to Work, Jungle Adventure, and then obviously the new ones that come with Crystal Creations. Dark and Dreamy. The ultimate crystal adventure isn't complete without the right dash of mystery and intrigue. When it's time to collect your colorful crystals and slip into colorful crystal slippers, <laughs> slippers, Wow, I have not read this much out loud in a while. But it says, yeah, so bejeweled leather boots, artisan clothing, button-down vests, you know, all of the fun creators, some items. They also have some new hairstyles, obviously, that we saw in the trailer. There's a lot of, like, bold items as well that they mentioned, like velvety sofas and mirrors and, you know, all of those fun things. They also, another fun thing is they collaborated with CC creator Aretha B to develop a dreamy set of jewelry available in Creator Sim. So there's a necklace, a ring, and a pair of earrings. So I'm really, really excited about that because Aretha B is actually one of my favorite CC creators. I will leave some of her links below as well. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Her stuff is great. If you do have the ability to download custom content and if you do play with custom content, I would highly recommend checking out her stuff. But yeah, so they also say that you can learn more about Crystal Creations in the Gameplay Developer Walkthrough on Wednesday the 28th. And the pack comes out obviously on February the 29th. So that's for PC, console, all of the fun stuff. So yeah, that is basically everything about this trailer, I think, you guys, that I had to tell you. But I also want to mention that, yes, while I am very excited for this stuff back, I know, obviously, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. This is definitely leaning more towards the occult side of The Sims rather than the family gameplay side, if that makes sense. Even though, personally, I do believe that crystals in real life have effects they have effects on people they give off different energies so for me this isn't an occult thing for me it's very much a real life thing but i know obviously it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea not everyone is going to like every stuff pack that the game brings out personally i'm very very excited for this let me know if you are as well let me know what your favorite part is what your favorite thing is that you're excited about if, you know, it's the gameplay aspect, if it's the creator some items, build items, or just everything like I am. I haven't been this excited for a stuff back in a while. <laughs> if you've been around the channel or around my Twitter, you know that the start of this year has been very rough for me. So having something like this that's actually making me very excited about the game is something I haven't felt in a while. So I'm really happy about that. And also, if you guys didn't know, I don't know if I mentioned this in a video yet, which is so, like, such a big oversight on my part. But if you do end up purchasing this pack when it comes out, or any other Sims pack, or any other Sims bundle, I do believe, I don't know if the sale is still going on, but the Sims have a, or they had, a Lunar New Year sale. I don't know if it's still going on. Today is the 20th, so it might be ending today. I'm not exactly sure, but basically if you buy any Sims pack or any Sims 4 bundle, excluding the create your own bundle one, I do have a special creator code that I will put up on the screen, screen it's just Chrissy, that you can use when you check out and doing that will actually help support me and the channel. It won't give you an extra discount or anything like that, but if you use my code when you buy a pack for the Sims 4, 
I will actually receive a small percentage of the sale. So it's a really, really great way to help support the channel without having to spend extra money. Like if you're already going to go and buy this pack, why not use my code and help support the channel a little bit if that is something that you would like to do. So yeah, I will put my little like creator code up on the screen for you. It's also in the description of all of my recent videos as well. So go ahead, do that, check it out if that's something that you might like to do to help support the channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry, this one has been a little bit more rambly and a little bit more all over the place than usual. Also, sorry for no face scam. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Let me know if you're excited about this stuff back. What you're looking forward to. All of that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys all in my very next video. Bye everyone.